So this question looks like it is a translate word problem question. TWP questions are typically four or more lines long. Um, so really all we're wanting to do is to make sure we're writing down any quantitative information, translating any sentence that we read prior to moving on to the next sentence. So let's start with sentence one here. A right rectangular prism has a height of nine inches. Okay, so I actually would end up drawing that because I have a habit of drawing anything that's been described. So my height here, this, red, this right rectangular prism is nine. So I'll just put a nine there. So then the next sentence says the length of the prism's base is X. Okay, so I'd put an X here, which is seven inches more than the width of the prism's base. Okay, so X is seven inches more. Um, so I am going to say that this then is X minus seven, right? seven inches more than x minus seven would just be x. So I've labeled the length, the width, and the height. The question goes on to say, which function v gives the volume of the prism in cubic inches in terms of the length of the prism's base? Okay, so how do you find the volume for a prism? This is provided to you in your reference information on the digital SAT. You just have to click on that button and find the reference guide there that provides formulas for you. But the volume for a prism is just length times width times height, right? So length times width times height. So what do we have? Our length is x, our width is x minus seven, and our height is nine, right? So I could write this as nine x parentheses x minus seven for my volume. And do I see anything that matches that? Yes, I do. It is choice D. So choice D is the correct answer.